Welcome back to LearnFalcon.com. In this next series of videos, I'm going to show you how to create users uh, with unique usernames and to allow them to log into a system securely uh, and then to lock down your system um, according to uh, which functionality, it, depending on the role of the user. So to begin with, I need a user table. So taking the code from the blog post, if we create that table, this is just my standard tennis club database and I've now created a user table I'm going to scaffold that and I like the getters and setters as you know okay so we've generated a bunch of crud code there associated with that user uh, the first thing I want to do is modify the views for a new user and what I'm doing here is there's a whole bunch of fields uh, in the user table and most of them are actually just for administrative purposes so they're not going to be set by the user at when they try and register in the system so the role is not determined by the user themselves the validation key the status uh, the time they were created and the time they were updated they're all administrative fields I'm taking them out so delete those and then while I'm here on this form there's another small change I want to make which is to change the um, oh not that field the password field username password here we go so the password field to be a password field and this will just ensure that anybody looking over your shoulder when you're logging in won't see your password so so that's the view and then then along with the blog post explanation given that we're not now passing those fields the role the status the validation key and the date and time it the user was created we're going to hard code them or hard code some of them anyway in the controller so edit the user controller the login form when it's submitted calls the create action so let's look for there we go the create action and I'm going to replace where the role validation key status created at and updated at fields are set with just four things to be set I'm not going to set the updated at that's just can be set to null initially it can be if the user is updated so the the role is set by default to be a registered user and set to be active that can be changed to be expired or inactive in the future time the validation key is to allow us to validate the user's email address so this is a hashed version of the user's username and a unique identifier together that we can send to them in an email and if they send it back that must be a verified email address and this is the time they were created so let's just save that and then importantly while I'm in the controller I need to set the password field in the database encrypted so by default the scaffolder has generated code that will just put the password in the database but I wanted to put in the in the database encrypted using this hash, hash function which uses bcrypt which is a good way to protect uh, against brute force and rainbow table attacks so that uh, people using passwords they've used before or dictionary passwords um, will be less able it'll be less easy for for uh, people to break into your system in that way so next step final step is to modify the the user model to add a uniqueness validator so what this will do for us is and I'm just going to add these two use clauses which allow us to use these particular uh, classes within our system and add this validation function and there's an awful lot of validation that we could add and might want to add to a user but um, for now I'm just going to validate that the username that the person has chosen is not already has not already been chosen by somebody else okay so keep it nice and neat and simple so if they do the, the message will be passed we've added this uniqueness validator to the username field and if the user chooses that username it's already been chosen it's gonna say no sorry so let's try that out we should be good to go now tennis club user new okay so Joe B First name Joe, surname Blogs, Joe 
B at Joe B dot com. Save that user. So after it's been saved, it just redirects back to the edit form, which is probably not the best place to go, but you can adjust that easily in the controller as to where it redirects to. Um, now let's just verify that we can't use the same username. No, the username has already been chosen, so that works. Okay, in the next video, I'll show you how to get the user to log in.